Hi, my name is Dominic Williamson and I'm a Principal Product Manager here at Atlassian. And I'm excited to announce a new feature called Jira Custom Onboarding. This feature is going to be released at Team Europe and it's available in our Jira Premium and Enterprise Editions. So custom onboarding is one of the top asks that we've heard from you, which is the ability to allow admins to offer tailored guidance directly in Jira by embedding their own content, messaging, resources to help your new users onboard into your way of work when they first start in Jira. And so the way that this works today is there is no change from the perspective of how users get access to Jira. That all stays the same in terms of your current flow, how you do your permissions. Similar, there is no change to the existing experience that your users have when they first start in Jira. They see then this, what kind of work that you do. This helps select from a category of roles, but historically that then helped to tailor the onboarding experience in terms of some of the general experiences in Jira. And now custom onboarding allows you to be able to create a tailored experience for your users that they see with your content resources and more. So that's what's new. Let's have a quick look of how it, how it works. So this is just a very brief demo from an end user's perspective. They're brand new in Jira. They've just start, signed in and they've selected marketing. You'll notice here, we now have the how we use Jira across our marketing team's custom welcome that the admin has configured, along with then information to help them get started in their first space. That's just a quick demo. And I'm gonna share with you now how easy it is to configure. So to create that custom welcome experience, what you'll see is then from Jira site admin settings under the products category, there'll be the new custom onboarding admin dashboard. This allows you to be able to create, edit, delete, and manage your custom welcome experiences, along with when we think a lot about then, it's not just onboarding, but how do you improve that over time? You get data insights to be able to see how your users are engaging with those custom experiences that you've created. From a configurations perspective, it's quick and easy to set up, which I'll show in just a moment's time, with the ability then to add your own messaging, have your own branding, have useful resource links, and these are based on the Smart Links platform, meaning they respect permissions and also then the dynamic embedded content abilities. You can have a maximum of three steps. And a great way to think about this is really think of your, what's the one to three key concepts people need to know to onboard into your Jira site and your way of work. To share best practices from other customers I've worked with, often it's things like your internal uh, best practice ways of work, such as you know planning cycles, or for example, where do I go to get help internally as part of the internal help portal? Along with then other customers who might have a custom work hierarchy, helping your users understand that because that's important to know when they first get started in Jira. And then of course, having rich content from video embed like Loom to then also imagery. So really custom onboarding is all about then helping you scale your way of work to provide that tailored experience for your users. You've seen then, you'll see some data insights as well as also importantly, that key moment, which is how do you help users understand the right way to use your Jira in your then guardrails, practices and processes, and importantly, giving them the right context they need to get started and onboard even faster. So let's have a quick look at how quick and easy this is to configure a custom welcome experience like you saw a few moments ago. So here I am from the Jira site admin settings under products. And you'll see now I'm in my view where I can see over the last three months and I can change to see over time the experience that have been had so, so far. I can then also create a custom welcome experience for multiple target roles of users or individual roles. And then you can see here, I've also got the ability to have them in an enabled or disabled state, maybe if you're making some refinements to a custom welcome. So let's create a brand new custom welcome because right now we still have a few roles that if a user selects it, they won't yet see that custom welcome. And reminder, users won't see a custom welcome, of course, until as an admin, you create it with your content. So let's welcome our new users as part of say our um, project and operations teams. So I'm gonna call this projects ops onboarding. I'm gonna say both our operations and project management groups of users will see then the next custom welcome experience. Jumping in here, I can then really quickly and easily fill in a few of the key pieces of information I want my users to have when they first get started. 
You'll notice we also have rich formatting to make it a really dynamic experience, as well as also then, of course, here, bringing in my custom useful links for my users. Now, on the right-hand side, this is where you'll see we have the ability to then embed both video, such as Loom, for example. And this also then supports different learning styles, but also really helping give quick pieces of context at the right time, say, for example, with a short two, three minutes, how we use all of our different tools together as part of our system of work. Similarly, I'm gonna add a little bit more visual style to it. This is where I'm gonna have some background branding, but again, I've seen other customers use this to even show visualizations of how their tools work together or even their work hierarchy if it's been customized as a particular way of work. From say step two, I just repeat the process, super quick and easy to be able to then share a bit of an important piece of information here with how we onboard users into a specific workspace. And I'm actually gonna share a real insight. This is how we've actually, based on the real example of how we welcome our own new Atlassian employees to Atlassian. We onboard hundreds of people every month and a key part of that is helping them to also orientate themselves around our broader ways of work, but then also helping them get started in their role itself. And let me just add this. And there we go. One of the useful links here is actually a Rovo agent um, based on the real agent we use internally to help our new users understand then even some of our key processes and practices. So that way they get 24 seven access to a buddy to help them no matter what, of course, in addition to the friendly team that they join the company with. Now I can click enable onboarding. And at that point now, once I've clicked enable, the new users who have selected those roles, so in this example here, our project and operations team will now see that custom welcome. Last but not least, new users are then able to bring back the custom welcome from the profile once they've seen it under the open company welcome. Alrighty, that is a quick overview of custom onboarding.